all right so what is going on today youtube got a brand new video for you guys today now you guys know last week well, well i sound like australian you guys uh last week i did do a video about the biggest problem in the game as of right now besides the panelists is the extra link problem unless konami decides to fix it or change some rules about extra linking we're gonna have to be dealing with this for the foreseeable future so we all know about cyber dragon kaijus and cyber italian and sphere modes we know about all those cards but I want to show you guys some cards that I pretty much looked at and seen. I said, you know what? These can actually do it. Now, are they probably worse? Yes, but it depends on the situation. These are just, you know, some underrated cards I feel like you guys should take a look at to see if, you know, it fits your play style better than a Kaiju or a Cyber Dragon or stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's hop straight into the video. But before we start, I would like to say thank you guys for choosing this channel or choosing this video to watch. Hope you stay to the end. If you guys do enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already. If you guys want to help the channel, links are in the description down below. And also, you guys can click an ad or do both. Either uh, form of support would be very nice, and I will appreciate everything that you guys do do. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started, and let's let's just ignore that do do part. <laughs> Um, so first for our zombie players because you know, this is what the channel is all about. We play zombies I got a couple of cards or two cards in particular that are zombies that we can easily put into the main deck and Actually use and try to out the action link without using uh, Kaijus and stuff like that and that is Shirin Shirinui Samurai and Kasha now the first card Shirinui Samurai um, his effect reads during either player's turn, you can banish one zombie type monster from your graveyard. This card gains 600 attack, and if it does, it banish any monster that battles with this card after damage calculation. So these effects last until the end of the turn, and then if this card is banished, you can target a sure new monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. You can only use each effect once per turn. Now, I know what you guys are wondering. Wow, this is a great effect. You can throw this in any zombies, and absolutely. Um, if you're playing the regular sure new version, you can throw this in. If you're playing the extra link version or just any version of zombies you can easily throw this in and easily get this off because it two gold starts can get this card on the board you can easily you know send goblin zombie to the grave for an effect bam and then uh if your opponent if you already baked out the tri gate you can just summon this bam attack whatever monster you want to get rid of not only you're going to do you're probably going to do some damage you're going to get rid of the tri gate or you're going to get rid of whatever is bothering you if you have a regeki in hand or something like that or you have a dark holding hand get rid of the servers if you're you know if you have if your opponent if you have a um I, I don't know a targeting card like mind control you can easily attack that goblin get rid of it so this is a very good nice you know main deck option that wouldn't really hurt your strategy and the second card as i mentioned is kasha and there's effect, her effect or whatever it is effect um it cannot be normal summoner set must be special summoned from your hand by controlling two or more zombie type monsters and cannot be special summoned by other ways and when this card is special summoned shuffle all other monsters on the field into the deck and if you do this card attacks become a thousand times the number of face up zombie monsters shuffled back into the deck um so pretty much as you you know pretty much heard all you have to do is control two zombies you can activate zombie world there's a myriad of ways to get two zombies on the board special summon this bad boy shuffle everything back into a deck so we kind of have our own cyber italian which is once again searchable by goblin zombie um yeah so you can just easily uh grab a free cot i mean you can easily grab kasha off whenever goblin zombie is sent you can attack into your opponent's monster um grab a uh, kasha once again bait out that tri gate and you're, you're just able to go summon a battle lord like if your opponent doesn't even have like anything like that you summon a battle lord ban it activate his effect call monsters and now your opponent cannot even respond to kasha's effect or call whatever you feel is threatening you um and you, they can't respond to kasha's effect but do remember that they whatever is shuffled back unless there's zombies like the whole thing are zombies like they have to be zombies when they go in the deck this will only gain basically 2000 attack because of the number of zombies but once again that's all you really need is um just to get rid of the board and then after that you can just summon a slayer or something like that and then pretty much proceed to wreck the board now if you have a sure new solitaire and akasha you're able to i mean you're able to pretty much break the link because you can go sure new solitaire to a unit zombie send mizuki or send the two star whatever you want to send send vendra core whatever you don't want basically you know if you don't want those cards back in your deck send whatever special somebody is bounce everything back and then you can ritual summon it and then win from there so yeah two easy cards you can throw in a deck and it won't really mess up consistency or you can decide them and once again since they're zombies they're under 1200 attack i mean defense uh they're easily just you know 
can be placed in. The next card I want to talk about is something that I I knew about, but I, I it didn't register until I seen it actually happen, which is Wiseman Chalice and Autonomous Action Unit. They pretty much both say special summon for your opponent's graveyard. Um, Autonomous Action Unit is 1,500 life points. Uh, and then uh, Wiseman Chalice is you just have to control no monsters. And then during the end phase, you have to give it back. And it can be attributed or used as synchro material, but we got links, so that does not matter. These two cards are very important because what you can do bait out that trigate or if they don't have a trigate you can just use this get their firewall back from the graveyard now you have two open zones folks so that that once again i i knew about that but i it didn't register because usually when you when, you, when you're doing your plays you, you focused on like okay you got to go into extra monster zone and then you got you know excellent i mean you got extra you basically you can specialize from the extra deck so when i seen somebody actually bait the trigate and the monster you want to fire one to proceed to win because you now have two open zones i was like well that's busted so i'm thinking wiseman well, chalice does that for free and it's not at one it's at three you can use three if you could but i mean you have to control no monsters and you can just special summon the firewall you can special summon any link from their graveyard and special summon it then you can link off with it um so if you lean a link two or something like that you can use this and once again going second this is the perfect card to side and i know a lot of people always talked about this card but i feel like today's meta is the time to use this so yeah man wiseman challenge doesn't cost you anything to special summon a free monster you can use it for a link or you can use it for the arrows and then link it off during the like during the main phase two don't have to give it back to monster and you pretty much got a free firewall and don't forget you can actually use firewalls effect um autonomous action Unit is pretty much the same thing, but this costs 1500 life points and it's an equip card, so uh, nobody's playing MST. But if they are, yeah, it's kind of bad. But like I said, it's very, very good. Once again, same thing as Wiseman Chalice, but you can control monsters. So, once again, you can bait out that Trigate, you can summon as many monsters as you can, then activate this. Bam, and if you got three in your hand, that's only 4500 life points. And you can get three monsters and then you can just go to town on your opponent so yeah two cards I, you know i would suggest siding um i'm probably going to side this during san diego <laughs> um the next cards i do want to talk about a very 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 um i guess the poor man's options i guess which is the dd package which is dd warrior lady dd warrior and dd assailant they all pretty much have similar effects except warrior lady is the best one because it's optional and it does not mandatory dd warrior and assailant is both uh, mandatory if you want to use their effects like i said bait out that trigate and if you don't not need your normal summon such as pendulums or something like that you can just summon this bad girl uh, these bad boys or bad lady um and then pretty much attack any monster you want to get rid of banish it there you go problem solved so yeah man if you don't have the money or you don't want to buy those cards or you know you're not playing zombies or something like that you got three main deck options and are all earth warriors oh wait nope dd warrior lady is a light so you can invoke one of these out just to, if you're playing gogies i mean i guess <laughs> you can try that but yeah man three cards that you know you can test out the four uh the in another card i want to talk about not the fourth card but i guess the fourth slide um is layer of darkness now a lot of people once again this card is very known but you know you can side this card once your opponent once you activate layer of darkness is easy your, your opponent is negating that because once you uh summon Lilith or something like that they cannot respond with trigate you contribute their trigate you contribute anything it points to it doesn't target anything like that and then it gives you the benefit of once again tributing your opponent's monsters for free so you know this is something that you know just easily when you first activate it it's going to get negated by trigate so you know you got to worry about that and then if you have another one of these cards like i said you can just pretty much out it so you know that is a pretty good option i know this is relatively new but a lot of people don't side this card or don't play it or nobody plays this deck this card is still very very good i know everybody remembered when it was first announced everybody was scared and all this this card is still very good so you can definitely definitely side this card and bait out trigate immediately after that because they can't really do anything else to it and the last cards i want to talk about today is something i've seen and i was like whoa this is actually pretty pretty good is the metaphys pactus which is ragnarok um daedalus and the ascension now 
if you guys do not know ragnarok has an effect which is also a tuner too so if you're playing a synchro deck or anything like that you can definitely use that upon i mean you can use that effect but this does have an effect uh says if this card is normal summon or special summon you can banish the top three cards of your deck and if you do it gains 300 for each metaphors card you banish you don't really care about that effect so you probably won't use it just so you won't beta trap on this trigate but when it does inflict battle damage to your opponent you can special summon one level five or higher metaphors from your monster but banish it during the next in phase of your turn so you want to get out daedalus and when daedalus is special summon you can banish all other face up special summon monsters on the field so once again you can activate lair of darkness you can activate wiseman chalice you can activate any of these cards bait out that trigate summon this ragnarok because link karibo will be at three 300 i mean it's going to be at 300 attack this card is going to be minimum 500 attack and you can gain you can gain 900 so when you attack He's going to use that Link Karibo. So once again, even if this attack does not resolve, it still got rid of the action link because they're forced to use Karibo. And if they don't, oh my God, when you summon this Daedalus, it is done. Your, your opponent ain't gonna be able to do nothing. It's in the damage step. So, excuse me, but I don't think a lot of cards negated. And once again, once they do the Trigate thing, that's pretty much it. So, and also there's a trap that searches all of these metaphors. So, um yeah that's once again if you play gold shark like i said if you're playing zombies you can side this in if you're playing some other deck you can side this in um you can actually just activate it discard and draw a card and then banish a uh, metaphys monster from your deck and if david list is banished you can um what does it do when it's uh during the next bit you can shuffle it and then banish another metaphys card so you can just banish another ascension and then pretty much search your ragnarok and then there you go once again you have the combo but we're not talking about late turn things but that is a very, I guess, neat little combo that I seen. I was like, yo, this is actually pretty cool. If you can dedicate some cards to this, this would actually work out pretty fine. So yeah, just consider these things. I know Cyber Dragon and Kaijus are a lot more efficient, but just in case you don't like playing those, they mess up with your deck. You don't have the extra deck room to put in the Chimera text or whatever the case may be. These are some good options that you guys can look. If you guys have any options or underrated things that you guys have seen over the time or over the years or you guys personally use let me know them down below that is it for today thank you guys for watching subscribe if you have not already click one of the links to help donate to the channel and also you guys can click and add that is it for today and i will see you guys on monday